Exactly. Tony Aroxi, a business owner, some are asking for more clarity this morning. Many wondering if they'll now have to put a system in place to keep track of who's been vaccinated and who hasn't in the workplace. Cal OSHA now says that masks can be let go. They can be taken off if all employees on site are fully vaccinated. If not, they'll have to keep them on. And that applies for everyone inside on site. The decision coming after hours of discussion and debate from Cal OSHA's standards board last night. The board first voted four to three against the proposal, but that vote swung in the opposite direction when the topic was reintroduced. Under current rules, masks are required for all employees regardless of vaccination status. These new guidelines going into effect June 15th allow masks to be taken off if all employees are vaccinated, still more restrictive than CDC recommendations that fully vaccinated people do not have to mask up or distance in almost all settings. Some worry about the privacy aspect in the workplace. So it's going to be very confusing, particularly in the area of asking employees about vaccination status and concerns over privacy and health information there. It's just a huge area of concern for small businesses trying to get this right. The proposed guidelines also require businesses to stockpile those N95 masks for workers, but recommends doing away with partitions by the end of July. Meanwhile, Governor Newsom does have the power to amend these rules. Cal OSHA says the revisions are under review for the next 10 days before being put in place again June 15th. But this means that most California workers could be keeping that mask on even after that June 15th reopening date here in the state of California. Reporting live in Culver City, back to you, Tony Naroxia. Okay, Mario, thank you.